Hi guys, it's Elliot from tutorialize.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at decorators in Python. So as usual, the full text write up of this tutorial can be found on my website tutorialize.net and I'll be leaving a link to this tutorial in the description below. So decorators are a pretty cool concept that allow you to decorate functions in classes and essentially return a new transformed function or class. If you're coming from a Java background, then you may have used decorators a lot in frameworks such as Spring and Jersey. If, however, you come from a pure Python background, then you may have seen decorators feature heavily in frameworks such as Flask. So in Flask, you would typically define a function and then decorate it with things such as app.root and my endpoint in order to specify that this is the function that will be executed whenever slash my endpoint is called from your app. So how do we write our own decorators? Well, it turns out that this is surprisingly simple. In Python, both functions and classes are considered first class citizens. This essentially means that they can be treated much the same as you would treat variables or objects within your Python applications. We can then do cool things like pass one function as an argument into another function, like so. So here we'll define two functions and we'll pass the first function into our second function f my function this will simply print hello and def another function which will take in a function and here we're going to call a function and to show that this is working we'll simply call another function passing in my function and python 3.6 and I've called this file main.py call that and you should see that Another function was called, but because we passed in my function, which is up here, it then triggers the call of my function and it prints out hello. Perfect. So now that we've seen how easy it is to pass functions as first class citizens between other functions, let's now define a very simple decorator that will return a new function that executes our existing function, but wraps it in two print statements one that says it's starting its execution and one that says it's finished its executing, execution. So I'm going to want to call this my mutate decorator and as such I'll need to define a mutate method. This will take in a function. It's then going to define a new function that takes in both args and keyword args and we're going to want to wrap the function that we pass into our mutate function with between two print statements. One that says execution started and execution finished. And finally in between here we want to call our function passing in both args and keyword args. Finally within our mutate function we want to return our newly created function. Perfect. So this is all we need to create a really simple decorator in Python. Let's now try and test this out by writing a function and then decorating that function with our at mutate decorator. So def my function print hello. If we test this, python 3.6 main.py, need to call the function. You'll see that hello is correctly printed out. Let's now try and decorate this my function with mutate. And you'll see that our function has been wrapped successfully in these two print statements. So one important point to note is that both args and keyword args are vital here. Without this, we wouldn't be able to pass in both arguments and keyword arguments and an error would be thrown. So let's take a look at that now. So name equals Elliot. Let's modify our my function. So name. And we're going to format that with our name parameter. So Python 3.6 main.py. As you can see, our names parameter has been successfully passed in from here to here. But without this, you would see the following. New function got an unexpected keyword argument name. 
that's just a nice quick and simple thing to note. So this was just a really simple example of how you can write your own Python decorators. If you found this tutorial useful or require further assistance then please let me know in the comments section below. But if you found it enjoyable and want to support the channel then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more Python based tutorials. Cheers.